Greetings and salutations one and all. I'm Andrew. And I'm Kelly. And we are the Video Game Fashion Police. We're going to take a look at a video game character's outfit, accessories, and overall sense of fashion. And judge them. But today, we're going to do things a little differently. Shake things up! Oh, yeah. Today, instead of looking at a single video game character, we are going to be looking at the five cabaret hostesses <laughs> from Yakuza 5 mm -hmm. and compare them to the five Yakuza, uh, cabaret hostesses from Yakuza 6. <sighs> it's a fashion battle royale! Who did it best? Which game has the best slate of cabaret hosts? Mm. What is a cabaret and what is a cabaret host? I've only played video games from Japan, so this is where all my knowledge come from, but according to the fictional video games that I play, in Japan, you can go to an establishment and pay attractive women money to pay attention to you. So if you're like, you know what would be fun this evening? If I could enjoy the company of an attractive, knowledgeable, well-mannered, well-spoken woman mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just talk about life and things that are going on and get some flirting on and have some drinks and little snacks. Well, according to the Yakuza video games anywhere, anyway, there are places you can go to do this. Cabaret clubs. I believe it. Yes. Oh, so you go in there, uh, you sit down, you pay money to have a woman or several hosts come sit down with you and talk to you and you order drinks and you order nibbles and you spend the night drinking and eating and talking and having a grand old time. Now in case you were wondering, yes, there are cabaret, cl uh, uh, cabaret clubs with male hosts. In fact, Kamurocho, the main town of the Yakuza series, uh, there's a club named Stardust, which is a predominantly male host club. Mm. Unfortunately, in several, in nearly ten Yakuza games, we've never gotten to patron that establishment. Rude! I want to patron that establishment. Yeah, seriously. Come on, Kiryu. <laughs> but we're going to be looking at the lady hostesses from Yakuza yes. 5 and 6. Here are the Yakuza 5 hostesses. Kelly, what do we got here? The Yakuza 5 hostesses are wearing quite the array of uh, different outfits. Uh, you have ladies such as Hinata who is uh, going to like a state dinner, <laughs> you know, or something like that with her red, long, heavy, it's a very uh, heavy fabric, which you can tell from the draping at the bottom. Um, She's also wearing a tiara and a whole bunch of jewels. So she's she's definitely going to a very uh, rich, fancy kind of a party with elite type people. Uh, not, in my opinion, so much as a uh, club, but that's okay. And then you have Xion, who is in a beauty pageant. Fantastic. Uh, she has a really great... Um, I actually enjoy her dress for what it is. Mm -hmm. The blue and gold and the ruching on top. I'm a big fan of ruching. I think it's flattering on everybody. And then, of course, you know, she has a really great pattern. It's also very Bollywood feel as well to me. Okay. Yeah, I, I see just, the, just, just the, the material. The fabric pattern, and the yeah. material and the pattern kind of is very, uh, to me, which, which is fantastic. I really, I really like that. Yeah, um, I, could, I could totally see that as a, a very relaxed, laid back, casual, just sitting there yeah. kind of look. But I could also see her completely busting out into an, a very elaborately produced dance number. Yeah, so it's a little bit of both. It's a very interesting, like, I like this dress because I feel like it, there's no in between. It's, 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 it's the higher, the low of it, like you said, mm -hmm. but it's, it's very interesting. Um, uh, Riku is a cutie. She's wearing terrible shoes, but that's, you know, here, neither here nor there. She's wearing um, the quintessential Charlotte Russe or Forever 21 uh, dress that has the metallic top and then just, it is ruched again, which, you know, mm -hmm. again, I like, but it's that powder blue and it's sadly cheap, but it's also kind of cute. Um, you know, she's, it's young. My least favorite, and we've talked ad nauseum about this, is Miss um, Honaka, 
who looks as if a 13 year old girl or even a 12 year old girl is trying to be 18 and goes into you know her big sister's closet or something and puts on something that this is what she thinks an adult will wear i mean she's got uh silver strappy shoes over black tights with polka dots she has the short very busy dress with a big bow on you know the breast area and then spaghetti straps the hair is up and kind of you know, messy. I actually don't mind. The I have hairstyle. to. Admit, I have to admit, I like her hair. Style. Yeah, I, I don't. Think that's but neat. it's it's a very. It's just there's so much going on and there's so mixed. Like the bow would be one thing if the rest of the dress wasn't this big waves of different like her, kind of like her finger dress. Paints. Yeah, Honoka's dress pattern looks to me like a cartoon supervillain trying to hypnotize yeah. the, the hero. It looks like finger painting. And then she's <laughs> wearing polka dot tights, which why would you do that? And then silver strappies, which means that you're going to see the toe of the tights. You never do that. You don't wear open toes when you wear tights because there's always a seam there. And then you look like, you're like, do you have web feet? I don't understand. Which here's the thing. I like tights. I really do. I think that they make your legs look nice. You can maybe, maybe, maybe get away with a small peep toe if you wear tights. If you just, you know, tuck the seam under and maybe make it okay. You can kind of get away with a peep toe. Um, but you can't get away with an open toe. Especially, so, like, just everything from the neck down on her is sadly, sadly wrong. And then uh, my favorite is Kaguya. Mm -hmm. She, I would go to a club if she was there. I mean, I just, I love the strappiness. I like the openness. Um, I like long skirts. I think they're fun, uh, anyways, because I, I like the juxtaposition of like everything here is covered where everything on top is really not covered. Mm -hmm. Um, that's another reason why I like things sometimes if you wear like a big sweater and have cut off shorts, I like that kind of thing too. Like just in, in life, like I've always liked that, that difference there. So she really has that going on. I like the the band across the waist because it's very flattering with all like kind of like the hip jewels or mm -hmm. or whatnot and then the cross that goes up i have a feeling it's very unsupportive so one would have to imagine that she has some really heavy duty tape going on under there which is fine because if you knew what women had underneath their clothes and things to get into things you'd be appalled actually <laughs> i i think it's supported pretty well because i've seen this outfit from the back i don't have a picture of it oh, right here okay but how it works is uh the cross uh mm -hmm. ribbons on the front are decorative they're not supportive her, the, the top is essentially a sports bra. In the back, it just goes straight across, horizontally uh, across the shoulder blades. Okay. So she's essentially wearing like a bra or sports bra on top with the decorative uh, right. sashes across yeah. the front. So if you look at the back, it actually looks like it's it's supported well. Yeah. So, I mean, I really, uh, I like a lot of the things that I'm seeing in a way. I think it's very interesting that... Uh, the woman in red, Hinata, I, mm -hmm. I really like her dress. I can't stand her jewelry. But I also get upset because you can see the weight of the dress. It's not a light dress. This is a heavy fabric. This is a heavy, probably of all five of these ladies, she spent the most on her dress. And mm. it's just a fabric choice you can tell like it's, it's just a lot of heavy fabric it's heavy dress, draped yeah. fabric there's pleating mm -hmm. at the bottom which is wonderful in the sense of like you know it's gonna last her longer uh, you know and it's timeless if she didn't wear the darn tiara and necklaces and jewelry up the wazoo on her wrists but for a nightclub for you know hosting dry cleaning that thing over it's just it, i just i it's the wrong choice for that please don't though, spill your champagne yeah whole, you know whereas you know the little you know 1599 forever 21 dress there at the end for riku she can she's like oh well i'll just buy a new one speaking of riku uh, how do you think her overall look would change if she stood with her shoulders back a lot i honestly i think that that's another thing that i think because the way they have her rendered in, in this particular I, pose is, is very shy and, and if know. i was wearing that dress i might be in that pose too. no i'm mm -hmm. joking um 
I think that that's a big deal. I think that if she just kind of, if she looked, you know, had her hand on her hip maybe, you know, just had her hands back, had a hand on the hip. If she was waving even, there could be any sort of a thought that, you know, because her shoulders are up, yeah, her chin is down. And chin's so down. And her toes hands are in, pigeons. Hands in front of her, toes and knees are in. She, she's very she's, closed off. She's very pose. uncomfortable. Yeah. And when you're uncomfortable and what you're wearing, you make, you, it does, you could be wearing, you know, Chanel. It doesn't matter. If you're uncomfortable in it, we're going to see that as like, you know, a, not a good, um, outfit you know if i just try to look past that i think that the dress would be okay i wish it wasn't that stale blue Mm -hmm. i wish it was maybe had a little bit more saturation um especially against her skin tone i think it's just Mm. it's harsh against her skin tone like but if it might help if in the picture we're looking at she's standing she's standing against an all-white background so Mm -hmm. if she was standing in front of something with color that might help a bit but i mean it's a nice I mean, I, I did, you know, make fun of it saying that, you know, it's that quintessential dress that you get. And, and I'm not going to take that back. You can get mm-hmm. that at the mall. I see dresses like that everywhere and all the time. But there's technically nothing wrong with it. It is a fine, you know, piece. And you can actually make it, um, I know it sounds strange, but you can actually dress it up to be quite casual, you know, or mm-hmm. make it be quite you know, risque. It just depends on how you do your makeup and your hair and the accessories and what you do with it. So, I mean, like, you know, look at that. If it was in a, you know, a wine color, that'd be quite, you know, you know, a hot little number type of thing. But yeah, and it is, it's unfortunate, but sometimes it doesn't matter the pose because little, you know, bow on the boobs. I hate that. She is super confident (laughs) for no reason. That, that is a confident look. I I will, I will, I will say that Honoka ha- has chutzpah. She owns it. I she just owns it. Really I just don't like don't it. Like it. <laughs> I don't and like I, what she I, owns. <laughs> like if I went to that club, I would be like... I do like her hair though. Yeah. Yeah. She's got good hair. I think that it's also... The hair styles are interesting. I like mm-hmm. the hair off to the side that our uh, girl... The, yeah. I like her mm-hmm. hair off to the side. Shion also looks like she spent the most time on her Yeah, hair and that's too. another thing that I find it like that's why immediately I said that she's in some sort of a pageant um even though she, you know cuz she's got pearls. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing says I'm, you know, like pearls as much as I enjoy them and I like them, but they're very sophisticated. Yes. You know, so it's like I'm wearing pearls. I have that perfect ring in my hair. You know, she really spent a lot of time. She doesn't the conversation with her is going to be different than the conversation with, you know, Riku or Hanoka. Like, mm-hmm. those conversations are going to be different. And you can just tell by... Or maybe you can't. Maybe she doesn't know anything other than hair and makeup. But good for her. She's pulling that off. So. Well, as as a host, you have to be Worldly. well-rounded. Yes. Yeah. You have to be uh, hip to... Now, everyone has their own specialties. But you do sure. have to be hip to current events because you never know who your patron is going to be and if they're going to be a chatterbox or yeah. reserve as a host you have to be able to engage in but also start and keep conversations going it's part right. of your job right. so as a host in a cabaret club you have to uh be personable but also very generally knowledgeable about a bunch of different and interesting things to right. chat about with your uh, with your clients So let's move on to the hosts of Yakuza 6 and take a look at what we've got here. 